What's up everyone, welcome back to Doki Doki Drawing. Thought it was finally time to make this video. It's probably the question that gets asked the most on this channel and it's what is that mechanical pencil that you keep using on Doki Doki Drawing? And even though it's not in Hinoe's pencil case, because we did a video recently called What's in a Pro Animator's Pencil Case? When I actually first started using this pencil, it's because Hinoe actually just gave me one. He was, he didn't need it anymore, or maybe he forgot it. I can't remember what the case was, but somehow I ended up taking this pencil home, but I kind of fell in love with it. So today I'm going to try and explain what it is this pencil is and why I like to use it so much. Now, first and foremost, this pencil does not make you a better artist. I don't think there are really any pencils that make you a better artist just by buying it. But there are reasons why I prefer to use this pencil over other pencils. First of all, as you can see, it's kind of like a mechanical pencil. It's got lead that comes out, and if you press the button, you can have the lead go back in. And a lot of the reasons why people use mechanical pencils are one, because they're almost always sharp, and two, because they don't need to be sharpened with a traditional sharpener. So before I actually got this pencil, the pencil that I used the most was something like this. Just a standard pencil. This one's a Blackwing. It's obviously not the original Blackwing. It's a Palomino Blackwing reissue. But when you use a pencil like this, it eventually does get not as sharp. So even though it's kind of sharp at the moment, I can draw fairly sharp lines. But if I wanted to do some really nice clean line artwork, I would probably want to sharpen this before using it. For that reason, I carry around this sharpener. And as you can see, when you use a sharpener like this, you end up with all these pencil shavings. If I use the other one, you can see more of the, the wood being shaved off the pencil. It's kind of satisfying. In its own little way, it's kind of satisfying to use a pencil sharpener like this. But as you can see, you've got all of this dirt everywhere. And now I have to figure out how to clean this. Now there are sharpeners that have dust captures so that all these shavings fall into a little plastic box, but then the pencil case gets bigger. And you've seen this pencil case that I use on Doki Doki Drawing recent, uh, well, in most videos, but I don't like to carry very much. And if I have one of those pencil sharpeners with a plastic tub attached to it, it doesn't really fit in here very smoothly. And so I carry this and I just try to kind of throw this away separately. But if you use a standard pencil, obviously there are many great benefits to using a normal pencil. You've got all of this lead here or graphite here that you can use for shading when you hold the pencil sideways. And you've also got a very nice sharp tip. And also as you use the pencil, part of it gets dull and the other part gets sharper. And as you rotate the pencil, you can have like a really nice sharp line or you can rotate it a little bit and use some of the more blunt end of it. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with a pencil, obviously. I'm no master of it, just, it's, there's nothing wrong. There's really nothing wrong with a main, a normal pencil like this one. It's just inconvenient because you've got all these shavings everywhere. And so one of the nicest things uh, I like about this pencil is that it's a mechanical pencil. Again, plenty of mechanical pencils out there, but this one is a two millimeter mechanical pencil. So by pressing this button like this, you can see that the lead comes out and actually comes out pretty far. You can have it come all the way out like this. So for this pencil to get the lead out, you actually just retract it like so, then you pull the back off and there's a little stopper on the end of it here, which prevents it from falling out of the pencil when you're, when you're releasing it. But you can buy replacement leads for this pencil and they look a bit like this. This is a pack of leads. You can slide them in, you can choose different thicknesses, different hard well, to thicknesses, you can choose different hardnesses. And this one is a two millimeter lead holder and so you want to get the ones that are two millimeter. It says here, two millimeter by 130 millimeter. And as you can see, because it's got that stopper at the end, it won't fall out of the pencil. I'm not being super careful with it and it's quite sturdy. It doesn't just snap and break. A bit like the 0.5 millimeter leads that you're probably familiar with from the pencils that you use just for taking tests or doing your schoolwork. So as you know, with a normal mechanical pencil, you still need to make sure that you use the sharp part of it. And there are special pencils that rotate the lead for you automatically. But even when you're using a normal mechanical pencil, you'll find that eventually it starts to get dull and that to make it sharper, you need to like spin it around like this to get to the, the sharper edge of it. And then eventually that will get dull and then you need to spin that around to get to the sharper edge. But eventually you will need to sharpen the pencil. And that's why I like to carry around this. This is a lead sharpener, I guess. It's like, they call this a lead holder. I'm pretty sure it's graphite, but you know what I mean. Got a lead sharpener here by Faber-Castell, but I think the one that Hinoe uses is by Statler. I'm pretty sure they're all the same with just different names plastered onto the front of it. And it's exactly the same as this one that I was using for the analog pencil. And if you plug it into this one, it makes one shape of pencil. And if you put it into this one, it makes a slightly longer shape of pencil. It's the exact same thing with this. As you can see, if I take this plastic top off, it's got 
two sharpeners in here and two holes here. You can put it into this one and it will create a different shape of tip for this lead, like so. And if I put it into this one, it will probably make a, a slightly sharper looking shape. But hopefully you can see already from the get go, just in terms of size, because we're not sharpening wood, because we're only sharpening the graphite of this pencil, it's nice and compact. Even just holding them side by side, you can see that this one is ever so slightly smaller and it has the plastic container built in. For this to have a plastic container built in, it would become probably this big. So once you've sharpened it like so, you've got a nice sharp point on the pencil. And what I love about this is it's so strong. If I were to sharpen a pencil to a similar point like this on an analog pencil, let me show you what would happen. And it doesn't help that this is really soft lead. So every now and then it just kind of snaps off. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting graphite in my throat. I'm doing this video with the air conditioning and the fans on, so actually the graphite's being blown up into the air. So back to this pencil, if I had it at an equal level of sharpness like this, I just find that this pencil seems to break a little more quickly. Like look, I've, I could, I've, already, I've already snapped the pencil so that it's not quite as sharp as it was about five seconds ago. And after just a few lines already, it's already beginning to lose its, its sharpness. The one that I've chosen is this F type which stands for firm. And I think in the Mitsubishi line, actually, I don't know if the other companies make an F setting, but most, most companies go from like 4B, 2B, B, HB, and then after HB, it goes to H. So there's nothing in between HB and H. And in terms of, there's like th hardness of pencil. There's plenty of videos out there explaining why people would choose different hardnesses of pencil, but I really like this one right in the middle and it's F. I don't remember exactly what the hardness is on this pencil, but I think the Blackwing 602 is quite soft. But once I've sharpened this Mitsubishi Uni to this point, I just find that it just stays sharp for a lot longer. And who knows, again, it might just be because I've chosen the F type, but it's, it's nice and it's steady and it's sharp. It just feels rigid, like it's not, it's not going to break. I feel like I can just do sharper lines for longer. Let's draw a little face. There we go. Drawing never feels complete until there's like a face on screen somewhere. We'll call him Pineapple Head. It's creative. And as you can see, now that I've been drawing a little bit, it has become a little more blunt and I could go in and I could sh put this in for just like a couple turns and sharpen this. But the other thing I could do is I could just sharpen it on the side of the pencil, on the side of the paper. And it's already much closer to what it was about 10 seconds ago, back to super nice sharp lines. Now, it is entirely possible that the other reason that I like this pencil is just because I've chosen this nice hard type. So just for your viewing entertainment, I've gone and I've purchased two brand new ones. So this is the one I have been using for a number of years. Here are two brand new pencils. This is what the Mitsubishi Uni looks like when you buy one new in a shop in Japan. Well, at least in the shop that I went to, they come in these nice little plastic bags. And I've gone for two different options. This one is the HB. And remember, they're completely interchangeable. You can just buy F LEDs and put them in HB housing. But the reason they do this is because if people have multiple pencils, then you can color code them. So as you can see, compared to the one that I was showing you earlier, this is a Mitsubishi Uni HB hardness of pencil. So just like the other one I was using just now, but this one is F. And as you can see, the color is different. This one has a brown top on it, and this one has a black top on it. Also says HB and F if you've got them in your pencil case facing you like this. But just in terms of color, it makes it nice and easy to find exactly the hardness of pencil that you require. Maybe you sketch with a softer pencil, but you do line art with a harder pencil, something like that. So this is the HB, and let's go ahead and open the F1 as well. With that ASMR. Mmm, tasty. So two brand new Mitsubishi Uni, I believe they are called the MH500 pencil. This is an MH500 F. And this one here is an HB pencil. And on the back, you can see it says MH500 HB. So this is the pencil you're looking for if you want to buy from this brand. But other brands do make these ones, these pencil lead holders. The only thing is that I haven't seen other brands that do F type. I, I can only find Mitsubishi that has this F hardness of one, or at least in the Japanese art shops that I've been going to. So straight out of the packaging, let's see what they look like 
from the start, they're already pre-sharpened like this. So they're already ready to go from the start. Let's see about the HB, how does that look? The HB as well, also pre-sharpened from the start. You can buy it fresh and it's already sharpened for you. Now something you may not get from the Doki Doki videos is how light these pencils actually are. When you open them up, there's really not very much going on inside. I'll just open up this F pencil. I think from the videos, it always looks like these are really heavy duty pencils. And as a result, maybe it'll give you more sturdi sturdity, S stability while you're drawing, but it, it doesn't really add to that. I would say that it's very much like a normal pencil. I would say that this lead holder is ever so slightly heavier than this standard wooden pencil that I'm using here. Something that is different though, is the weight distribution. This pencil, the metal portion is at the front and the plastic portion is at the back. Compare that to a wooden pencil. If you put, if you try to find the balance point on a wooden pencil, it is more or less somewhere in the, oh, well actually, ha! You know what, with this, with this Palomino back wing, it's got this special eraser that you can kind of extend a little bit further out when you start to run out. This is a special pencil and so it's actually kind of weighted towards the, the back of the pencil. So the balance point is around there, but compare that with this pencil. The balance point is a little closer to, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Ah, hopefully this gives you an idea of the weight distribution. They're opposite. This one is heavily weighted to the front and the black wing is heavily weighted to the back. And I think most normal pencils without a funky eraser like the black wing are probably weighted somewhere closer just to the center of the pencil. I think they're more evenly distributed in terms of weight. But I think that's another thing I like about this pencil. Without adding too much weight to the pencil itself, it puts the pressure, the pressure, it puts the weight distribution closer to the front. And as a result, there's not a lot of movement. It's almost like the pencil has more inertia towards the front of the pencil. And I'm sure there are other pencils that do that as well. But really the best thing about this pencil is that it's a mechanical pencil and the lead doesn't break that quickly. And when you're done with it, like a mechanical pencil, you can put it away and you're not going to break the tip. Unlike a normal pencil, you've got to consider when you put this in your pencil case. If you don't have those metal covers to cover your pencils, then when you put it in, it's gonna get damaged. It's also going to create you can see already this pencil case is getting dirty because of all the pencil lead markings that are in there I've, every time I put the pencil in and out of it. But with this mechanical pencil, you know, or like any mechanical pencil really, it's nice and slim, like an analog pencil, but the lead goes straight in. You don't, it, it's just so sturdy, especially the F. I don't know about the HB because this today is actually the first time I've ever used one. But the F, this lead is nice and sturdy. I put that in there, throw this in the case, Voila. So on the left side, we'll have F-Man, and on the right side, we'll have HB-Man. And for kicks, somewhere in the middle, we'll have Blackwing Man. I've sharpened this MH500 HB, so let's go ahead and draw some lines. Maybe you want thicker lines without having to put so much effort in. With the F, you would have to push quite hard for a thicker line. And even when you push, even when you push quite hard, it's, it's not a very thick line that comes out. 